A 300 gram bird flying along at 6 meters per second sees a 10 gram insect headed straight towards it with a speed of 30 meters per second as measured by an observer on the ground, not by the bird. The bird opens its mouth wide and enjoys a nice lunch. What is the bird's speed immediately after swallowing? Okay, so let's go ahead and get a little picture here. So we have a bird. That's a cute bird, pretty fat bird. And there's our bird. So he is flying a lot. Oh, geez. I can draw a bird, but I can't draw an arrow. Okay. He's flying along at six meters per second. Then they tell us we see an insect. So here's our little insect flying along directly opposite to the bird. So it is flying along at uh, 30 meters per second. Now this one is up to us um, because they're flying opposite to each other. And since we're dealing with velocity, it's magnitude and direction, one of them will be positive and one will be, will be negative. And so it's by the observer on the ground. So we'll say that we're looking at it straight on the way we are now. So I'm going to say that the bird is going in the positive direction, and I'm going to say the insect is going in the negative direction. So I'll change this to a negative 30 meters per second. All right, so now let's go ahead and list everything. Uh, we have the mass of the bird, which is 300 grams, or 0 0.3 kilograms. And the initial velocity of the bird is um, 6 meters per second. And the final velocity is what we're looking for. Now we have the mass of the insect, which is 10 grams, or 0 0.01 kilograms. The initial velocity of the insect is a negative 30 meters per second. And the final velocity of the insect, we don't know that either. Now let's scroll down a little bit. And let's think about what's going on. So the bird is eating the mass, or the eating the insect. So the, the masses, they're going to be combined at the end. So we're used to the equation m1v1 plus m2v2 equals yada yada. At the end, we normally have, here I guess I'll just write it out, m1v1 initial plus m2v2 initial equals m1v1 final plus m2 v2 final. But we just were barely talking about how the masses of them at the end are combined. So really we can rewrite this as m1 v1 initial plus m2 v2 initial equals now m3 v3 final. So if, and that makes sense like if, if we think about this because we don't know the, the, sp the final speed of either of them. And so um, we're going to be solving for this guy right here. And so in this case, it's pretty easy to s isolate that. We just divide by M3 or the total mass. So divide by the mass of the bird plus the insect, or we'll, like I said, we'll call it mass three in this case. So now let's go ahead and plug it in. So mass of the bird is 0.3 times its initial speed of six plus the, I'm gonna change that, make that not confusing so it's not a 0.6, the mass of the insect which is 0 0.01 kilograms times its speed of negative 30. And then we divide all of that by the mass of both of them together. So we have 0.3 plus 0 0.01 so we have a 0 0.31 kilograms. Okay, so now when we do that, we are left, if we plug it in, we get a 
0.03 meters per second, which is the final velocity of the bird, and in this case, the insect.